Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on our bin one. Now, this bin has been going for longer than I've started this, and I think it might be time to kind of push everything over to one side and do a harvest and see what we get out of it as far as material and also try to figure out how many worms are in there. So in this video, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. Instead of just feeding, we're gonna create a new area for the worms to go in and we're gonna leave the lid off so that we kind of, some of the moisture evaporates and they sort of force themselves into that area. So I'll show you what I'm talking about as we go through it, but I just feel we need a change on this one and I wanna start a new experiment. So I really need this bin to, to be cleared out so we can do that. So let's go and take a look and let's see if we can start this process of harvesting. Okay, I know this might be a little hard to see, but this is bin one right here. If I put my hands around it, maybe you can see it a little better. The glare is a little bit bad because of the lighting angle, but so bin one, we have our date here of 11.5. That's our last update. That's today's update is 11.24. We are going to try to start a harvest on this one by doing a side to side. So I'm going to bring my lights back down to a little bit, so it's a little bit brighter for you on here. There we go. Now let's take off this lid and take a look here. So I'm going to flip it over. Quite a bit of moisture on the top here so that's where i said we're going to try to dry this out a little bit as we start our harvest so first thing first let's check and see how the food area is doing in this bin now i think this one has been going through all of its food every time so let's just dig in here and see plenty of bedding in here worms look nice and healthy so i mean you can really see them in here they do look good You know, um, let's just see here. There's a lot of bed, a lot more bedding in here. I must have added a lot more last time to try to absorb some of that moisture. So it still looks good, but looks like all the food is gone. I'm not finding anything in here. At least not noticeably yet. I'm not finding any cocoons either, although we do have some smaller worms right here. A lot of bedding though. I may, might not need to add any bedding to this, but we'll see. So what we want to do here, and if you remember, I showed a video, if you've watched it, I should say, and I'll try to link it up above, a good amount of worms here. Uh, I showed where you can put a container in and try to harvest worms off that way. And what we're going to do is different on this one. So what we're going to do, and we're just going to start this right now. So I'm going to throw this piece of cloth over, actually we'll, we'll put it over here for now. Let's just dig over here a little bit and take a look. We've got worms over here. Leftover piece of banana peel, it looks like, or the stem. Those take a while to break down. I'm not surprised. Material's still pretty thick and heavy. But does flake apart. You know, it's not sticking together and sticking to my gloves ridiculously. More small worms in here. So, but it's really starting to get compacted. So that's why I want to dry this out a little bit. Really big worms. I mean, look at this guy. This guy's a big one. So nice and healthy. You just move all this stuff. And this is how we're going to harvest this one. So we're going to grab all this stuff and pile it on one side. Still not seeing any cocoons. Seeing lots of, I mean, I see some of these smaller worms, which is a good size. It means that, it means that there's breeding going on and there's worms in here that are uh, reproducing and creating cocoons, but I'm not seeing the really, really tiny ones, and I'm not seeing the cocoons. Now, if you see any in the video that I missed, please point them out. I'm not... Uh, it's amazing how much more magnifying this, this looks once you guys are looking at it compared to what I'm looking at right now. So I've got the camera right above here where it can really zoom in and show what's going on. Let's just see in here. I'm not, still not seeing any cocoons. Material, though, looks better on this side. Less, less bedding. Still some nice, healthy worms in there. So we're, As I said, we're piling everything onto one side, though. Everything onto one side. All right. So now we've got this side really built up high, this side really low. I'm just going to take that cloth out of there. And now, with this type of harvest where you do a side-to-side, -side, what I'm going to do now... So I'm going to put in some fresh bedding. After I get some of this stuff off my gloves, I'm going to grab some fresh bedding here, which I'm going to just use my standard shredded paper. I'm 
And this does not happen overnight, okay? So it's not like it's going to happen immediately, but hopefully it'll happen fairly quickly. We'll see, we'll see if we can make it a little bit faster by doing a couple different things here. First off, I'm going to add more. I'm going to add food to this side now. So give me a second here. I'm just going to grab the food and bring it over here. So I've got shredded carrot, piece of broccoli, some carrot tops. I do actually have in here some, some lemons and stuff. I'm not going to put those in because we're trying to lure the worms over. Some, there's some broccoli, celery, some more celery bits. And of course, I'm going to have, of course, I'm going to have a banana peel in here. You know that. We, we go through a lot of bananas. We've actually been going through a lot of citrus lately too, but this is what I'm going to start with the feeding right here. I'm not going to add too much. I just want to start getting it going. Now, instead of piling more material on top, I'm going to grab more bedding to put in here. So I'm going to grab quite a bit of bedding because the goal is not is to make this a very nice area for them to be in and get them to want to leave the other areas of this system. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there we go. There's our bedding. We're going to add, let me pump this up a little bit. I've got my water right here. So I'm going to add, going to, Moisten this down a little bit because this is all dry paper. And we're going to want this to soak in a little bit just to make sure. And actually, there's one thing I did forget to add, and I do need to add that, and that is some of my grit. And this is my... Hold on, i got to take this top off. This is a crushed up eggshell and crab shell. And I'm going to just sprinkle this on top. Remember when you're using this, you typically would want to wear a mask, but I'm using it in a way that's hopefully not going airborne and getting into my lungs. So we're just going to add a little bit on top there. We'll, we'll water it down to kind of get it in. It'll, it'll soak through with the water I'm putting on here. And I have a variety of cardboard and paper in here. It's not just... Uh, it's not just cardboard anymore. I have a lot of paper I've been trying to go through, and this is the best way I can think of to uh, make sure it does not just end up in a landfill. Now, one thing we're going to do that's very different this time is I am going to, first off, what we're going to do, though, let me just, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to put this on this side so we know which side we're working on. That's that's fine. This, this is used, but I'm going to kind of move this back down just so it's even with the other section. So that way the, everything can move through freely. Big chunk of something that felt very soft there. I thought it was food, but it wasn't. All right, so now this is like this. The one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the top off of this to try to dry this out a little bit. It doesn't, it's not too bad, but I want it to dry a little bit more so that way I can run it through my sorting machine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna leave the top off, but I'm gonna put a piece of, this is just an Amazon packaging and there's this plastic bubble wrap. I'm gonna put that over top over here and that's gonna hold in some of this moisture. I'm not trying to cover the entire thing, but hopefully over here, some of that moisture is gonna hit and fall back in. It's not taking up the entire bin and I can always add the lid back on if I find it's drying out too quickly. But this is how we're gonna leave this bin now um, for at least a week and then we'll see if the worms are migrating over and if they are, we can either empty this out or we can just keep adding food to this one section, try to get all the worms out of this area right here to flow into here and that way we can harvest this side and take out all these castings right here and then we have our worms over here so that's my update hope you enjoyed it if you have questions please let me know and i'll i'll link ahead to the video that shows the container that i put in the middle of one of these that i'm working on right now as well as so i'm trying to harvest a lot of my bins to get these mater this material level down this is getting kind of high and it makes it hard to harvest when they get really high so that's the only issue with these 10 gallon totes like this is it can get hard to harvest them because when this material gets high, it's really hard to move it around. You only have, you know, this much depth to work with in the bin. So thank you for watching. If you have questions, please let me know down in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this video.